afternoon VC uh, Dave and um, so I was going through pulling my records that I have that were uh, pressed in Japan for the last video I did and I realized I have a lot more um, from France than I do Japan so I'm gonna show what records I have here that were pressed in France uh, just for the hell of it There's a lot First one is a uh, Don Cherry and Lee Gato Barbareri on the Freebird label, uh, Togetherness. And um, I just got this from uh, Angry Mom. Shout out to Dom. Uh, they're doing good work at that shop uh, up in Ithaca, New York. Follow them on eBay. They post crazy stuff all the time. They got a lot of good blues and classical on there right now. Um, if I wasn't going out of town, I'd be all over some of that. But, um, great album. Some of Gato's best playing. Only record I have on that label. Got uh, Archie Shep and Bill Dixon, Peace. And then on BYG, Actual, which is a uh, famous... French jazz label. Uh, this, however, is a reissue of uh, a Savoy release um, from way back. But yeah, I'm a big fan of Bill Dixon, and his records are extremely hard to find around here, so this one I was happy to pick up from Alex in his moving sale. This is a French band that toured with the X. Um, Apiouis, and this is their album De Mer, um, and this is really killer, uh, experimental, punk, mathy, greatness, um, this was like a dollar, um, this, this is a fucking badass band, Apiouis, um, highly recommended, I think it's from like 2005, I could be wrong on the year. Uh, another interesting label from France. Uh, the America label, of all things. Um, and this is Mal Waldron with the Steve Lacey Quintet. And I cannot recall where I found this. But yeah, this is a good one. Um, Another BYG Actual. This is an original number 34, Dewey Redman Tariq. This is really good stuff from Dewey here. And this one's in nice shape. I got that in the collection I bought last year or the year before. Um, another one on the America label. Uh, this one I found at uh, Noble Records of all places. The Fabulous Paul Blay Quintet. Uh, this features Ornette Coleman and Don Cherry. Really happy to find this, and it was cheap. Um, these, these America label uh, pressings don't pop up too much. Um, there's what the America label looks like. Great session. Charlie Hayden on bass, Billy Higgins drums. Hell of a lineup. Uh, Paul Blay, oh, I don't hear too much about him in the VC, but uh, he's a fabulous player um, on the keys, so let's see, uh, this one uh, is a French reissue label, uh, Hot Casa Records, and they're putting out some of the really cool African stuff, uh, they put out the K Pong albums, this is uh, K Frimpong and Super Complex Sounds, uh, this is great. Great high life, funky stuff. Killer from Ghana. Reissue. Originals are way up there in price. Insane price. Another BYG Actual, number three. An early one. Um, this is an original. I think I got this from... Uh, Oh, I think from Tip Top, uh, Homage to Africa. Always really dig the BYG sleeves, Kate 
folds. Really nice photos every time with these. Um, I'll show you what the label looks like. It's just usually a plane with that kind of Buddha looking character there on there. Of course, Sonny Murray, fantastic drummer. Um, and some great free jazz. Uh, this artist is one I need more records of. Uh, this is Henry Texier, uh, Barrick. This is a phenomenal album. Um, that's him there. Uh, on the, looks like the Oud. Um, he plays contrabass, Oud, flute, fender bass, some percussion. Uh, he does it all. Uh, interesting vocals. Um, I don't know what you'd call them, but... Uh, yeah, this is on uh, Disc GMS. Um, these are really good reissues. Um, I ordered this from Raleigh, North Carolina, which is up the road, and it took like two months to get here. It was pretty crazy. Um, yeah, this is, I think, the only record I've ever bought on Amazon, and it took two months. Ridiculous. Um, but yeah, I need more of his stuff. It's absolutely fantastic this is a french original of xenakis uh, metastasis pithoprocta and ianta uh, this i got uh, from record wonderland up in the chicagoland area thanks to chris cole um, and uh, still got the bond de raul vidal there's, there's this french address there um, this is amazing avant-garde classical um, this is, I'm going to have a hard time finding anything that's going to top this for me in this world, this, as far as, uh, the genre. This is a, just phenomenal, really cool record. Uh, this is a, like, a boy punk band, uh, that, uh, Final Rich turned me on to, uh, to Coo George Troubles, um, this band is fucking badass. My friend Mare T, she's from Nancy in France. She saw I got this, didn't know about it, immediately bought it too. <laughs> uh, had to get it from France. Uh, this is on the Offside Records label. That's their symbol there. Which is kind of similar to a cover of a comp from Discord, of all things. But uh, this is great shit. This is an interesting French pressing I have of uh, Nirvana as a bootleg. Um, this is on the Club 188 label. Uh, I got this at Lunchbox at their old location way, way back. Uh, these kind of go for a little bit of money now. This has got the Fecal Matter demos from 1985 on here. Uh, the song Sound of Dentage. What a horrifying sound. Um, it's got home demos from 1988. It's got mont Montage of Heck, the original version um, from four-track tape on here. Um, this is really raw Nirvana, like er super early, pretty much the earliest stuff they ever recorded. Really cool to have that. Never see it anymore. Uh, another BYG Actual, Don Cherry Moo, second part. I got this from a VC member, and I forget his name. It's an original, um, and I do need still uh, move first part. I need the first part. This is some out there stuff from Don Cherry. Um, love the artwork on that. This I got it up in uh, Durham at Carolina Soul on one of my visits there. Uh, Ornette Coleman, Chapaqua uh, Suite. This is it's made for a film. Um, this is pretty intense, uh, really long uh, passages on this. 1966, this is uh, a Sony copy from France, which is kind of interesting to find. Uh, this belonged to that Duke professor who sold her collection. Um, that's a great ornette. This was VCLT from Bill at the Vinylverse. Uh, John Coltrane and Eric Dolphy, uh, Two Giants Together, a rare live performance from 1962 um, in Greenwich Village. Uh, however, this is a France pressing on Musidisc. 
which is really cool. Um, and there's some there's some fantastic uh, stuff on here. A uh, hell of a version of my favorite things um, on this. Yeah, really interesting find there that Bill had that he passed on to me. Next is a label from France, a uh, Futura label, which is everything on that label I've come across is fantastic. I have just a couple here. Uh, Ted Curson, uh, Pop Wine. This is, uh, this is one of my grails for sure. Um, I got this early on before the vinyl boom went, went absolutely crazy. Um, this record now goes for a lot more money than I paid for it. Uh, I remember um, Secofunk uh, showed this years back and I was all over it. Um, probably my favorite record from Ted. Fantastic stuff. And then this one, this is this this album blows my mind. Uh, the George Arvanitas Trio in Concert. This is a fucking burner. This is all out fire. Uh, Jackie Sampson bass, Charles Sadri on drums. Called him Hollywood. Uh, yeah, there's that uh, Rick Ballard Imports sticker. Um, I've got a lot of albums with that Rick Ballard Imports sticker from Berkeley, California. He brought a lot of records over, and I've gotten a few of them somehow. That one's killer. Uh, George Arvanitas on piano. Billy Harper, uh, The Awakening. Uh, original France pressing from 79 um, on, Mar on the Marge label. Um, I think this is the only record I have on this label. Um, that one, not a, not a label you see all the time. Let's see what it looks like here. It's just a plain, plain label there. But uh, this is another great Billy Harper record. Um, of course, a lot of his were on Japan labels, as I showed in the last video. But uh, this one was from France, and I'm pretty sure I had to get it from France. Everett Holland's trumpet, Horsey Arnold on drums, and they even, they spelled his name wrong. They spelled it Horace. Yeah, got a French pressing of uh, Joseph Jarman's song Four on the Goody label. So I think this is a reissue. Um, this is this is killer. Of course, Joseph Jarman from Art Ensemble of Chicago. Great sax player, um, alto. Steve McCall on drums. Steve McCall is a killer. Um, that's a cool. That's a cool find. I forget where I found that. Got a lot of French stuff. Another one on BYG. This is an interesting release. Hank Shout from Lee Morgan. This is basically their reissue version of uh, the introducing album. Lee Morgan's first solo album. Um, it features Hank Mobley, Doug Watkins, Art Taylor, um, Hank Jones. This is, uh, I don't know where the hell I got this. Um, that's an interesting one to be on BYG. Now I got a very large stack of blue notes here. I know everybody's all on the Tone Poets and the Music Matters and God knows what else got reissued that cost way too much money. I got this huge stack, huge stack of great French pressings. I want to say they were pressed in the 80s. Um, got them at, all at uh, one, out of one bin at Repo. I just happened to hit it. Uh, I got, I think Jimmy tipped me off. That he had this stuff, and when he put it out, I bought the whole lot. Uh, he had bought a collection from one of the owners of School Kid Records in Raleigh, and I, I, I absolutely jumped on him. Um, don't wonder it isn't from that group, but uh, yeah, these are these are fantastic. Um, let's see what we got here. Um, they sound great, um, and they deal on a lot. Johnny Griffin, uh, blowing the session. This is all kinds of fire, my god. Lee Morgan, 
Johnny Griffin, Hank Moley, John Coltrane, just Hart Blakey drums, Paul Chambers, Wynn Kelly, my God. Um, Bill at the Vinyl Verse did a video featuring this record and did a phenomenal job uh, describing it much better than I can. Ch check out that video. Um, let's see what we got here to move some things around. More from that stack. Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers and Night in Tunisia. These are all uh, Path Marconi pressings. Uh, fantastic pressings for Blue Note um, that the French put out. Um, I had no idea when I when I ran across them. Like, what are these? I had them all. Herbie Hancock made Voyage, and these are all in fantastic shape. Yeah, 19... I can't remember what year. 1982 looks like this one was pressed in France. Both uh, Thelonious Monk, Genius of Modern Music, Volume 1, Blue Note 1510. Yeah, 1982, I think all these were pressed. And of course, Thelonious Monk, Volume 2. This one's really good. Both Bud Powell's, The Amazing Bud Powell, Volume 1. This one I like a lot better than Volume 2. Volume 1's got uh, Sonny Rollins and Max Roach. Um, this is killer. Bud Powell. Of course, Volume 2. This one, this one I don't really care for. Um, I don't know. It's alright. Volume 1's where it's at. And uh, Nuke's Time, Blue Note uh, 4001. Um, this is a really good Sonny Rollins record. Yeah, all these pressed in 82. And I've got a couple other Blue Notes from Preston, France. This one on Heavenly Sweetness, Gretchen Moncour III, some other stuff. This is a hard record to find in any form. Um, yeah, interesting that this was pressed there. And then uh, one of the other series that, that France put out for Blue Note, uh, the Cadre Rouge Audiophile Editions. These are really good. Um, I only have this one. Um, Mode for Joe from Joe Henderson. I think this might be coming up in the series at some point. Curtis Fuller, rest in peace on this record. Lee Morgan, Bobby Hutcherson, Joe Chambers. There's great players on this one. Um, France. All right. Max Roach, confirmation on the fluid records label from France. Uh, not a label you, you see very often. Um, this has really killer lineup. Cecil Bridgewater, Billy Harper, Calvin Hill on bass. Um, this is a little bit later from Max. Let's see what this one looks like here. I haven't spun this one in a while. There's the this is dirty. Got to clean this one. Fluid records label. From France. Alright. And like my last video, if any of y'all feel like what the hell, something different than tags, go ahead and show me your uh, France pressings. Whatever you got. This one is, I love this one. Uh, Sun Ra, um, Noe de Long Foundation, mate. Um, this is, I want to say volume one. No, this is volume two. Um, I need volume one. This front and back cover are so great. Um, just phenomenal. Um, this is on the Shandar label, which is a really good French label. Um, gatefold. Yeah, if you see anything on Shandar, it's probably worth picking up. Um, really heavyweight vinyl. Nice, great sounding record. Because um, a lot of these France pressings are. The Blue Notes sound incredible. Um, another country that doesn't screw around with their vinyl. Um, Another Sun Ra. Sun Ra is Solar Myth Orchestra, the Solar Myth Approach Volume 1. This is a France reissue. Um, I, 
Need Volume 2. Uh, this is out there. Like, this is not accessible Sun Ra. This is the bonkers, the bonkers stuff right here. This, this one is a uh, difficult listen, and you got to be in a certain place, certain headspace to take this one in. But it's, uh, I mean, the cover alone. I've got a lot of other BYG records, a ton more, but they're all, I think, U.S. pressings. Um, like the other Moncore records, I don't have originals of those. I've been fine with my reissues. Um, this, another one I need another half of, a Tony Williams Lifetime Emergency featuring John McLaughlin. French pressing I got at uh, one of the conventions here, real cheap, on po the France Polydor label. Um, 1969 original French pressing. I need the other half though, so I basically need size C and D. Hard to freaking find. Um, God damn it! That one I'm gonna have to order from France at some point. Some reggae, Carl Malcolm and Ranking Trevor repatriation. I picked this up because of John, six inch pianist. Uh, he played this on one of his early videos. This is on Roots Recycler. French label. It's a 12 inch dope reggae. And you can't talk about France without talking about Richard Pinhas and Heldon. Uh, this one is uh, Un Rev Sans Consequence Special. I said that right. And this is the Cobra label from France. And this is great. Electronic. Early electronic stuff. Um, he's, a, of course, great guitarist too. Here's the Cobra, Cobra label, I've shown this before. This is a beautiful copy of this. Another one I got at the convention. Um, there's a great dealer from Ringgold, Georgia. I mean, he is in bumfuck. Um, that's like on the border of Georgia and Tennessee near, I think, Chattanooga. Man, that dude has everything. He's got a lot of killer records, my God. Um, in the middle of nowhere. Uh, Heldon 6 Interface. This one is killer. Another one on Cobra. And then I got a reissue of Heldon Standby recently. And this is a French reissue, though, from uh, Souffle Continue Records. This one's heavy. I like this one. Really good really good stuff from Richard Pinhas on guitar. Um, I got uh, Richard Pinhas Iceland. This is an original on France Polydor label. This is a fantastic record. This one, highly, highly recommended. Fantastic electronic stuff on that. And I got a France Record Store Day release. Got this at Lunchbox of all places. You only had one copy. Live at Bambalam in France, Richard Pinhas. Um, a lot of people didn't like this one. I uh, thought he was losing it a bit, but uh, I dig it. I dig it a lot. Uh, just two side long pieces. Uh, really dig him on the guitar um, from Bordeaux. In, uh, yeah, I forget what year. And then the last but not least record I found at Dusty Groove randomly after uh alex at motor 247 had shown this record played some of it on a video years back this is uh jean jacques berge francis george and chirac on the sun records label defon's day is the name of the album this is one of my favorite album covers this is really good experimental electronic stuff love this back cover like you're kind of peeking into what's going on with the band um killer I think that's all my France pressings. That'd be all. Long video. Holy shit. All right. Peace.